Hello, my name is Dr. Amanda Fiffy, and I am a Pediatric Gastroenterology Fellow at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine. I have been asked by the editors of Pediatric Health, Medicine, and Therapeutics to discuss an article soon to be published entitled Optimal Management of Pediatric Hepatitis C Infection, a Review. Hepatitis C infection, or HCV, is a global health problem and it is the most common blood-borne infection in the United States. Pediatric HCV is associated with significant morbidity, mortality, and high healthcare costs. Globally, approximately 185 million people are infected with HCV. However, according to the Institute of Medicine, hepatitis C infection remains largely underdiagnosed with at least 50% of infected subjects unaware of their HCV status. Thus, the true incidence and prevalence of this condition in the young remains unknown. Although HCV is thought to induce relatively mild disease, children may present with more advanced clinical manifestations. And hepatitis C infection remains the leading cause for liver transplantation in adults in the U.S. Based on a consensus report issued in January 2010 by the Institute of Medicine, it was noted that increased knowledge and awareness about chronic viral hepatitis, improved surveillance, and better integration of services are needed. The natural history of pediatric hepatitis C is not fully understood. Currently, perinatal HCV transmission is suggested as the most common route of infection, with the majority of children going on to develop chronic HCV infection. Appropriate management of this infection starts with screening the individuals at risk. The next important step in management of hepatitis C infection is the decision of when to initiate medical therapy, which remains a matter of debate. A number of factors support the early initiation of treatment among infected individuals greater than three years old. Children are more likely to be exposed to the adverse effects of hepatitis C for a prolonged period of time. Therefore, successful treatment is expected to diminish morbidity in adulthood. In addition, early treatment of infected children provides opportunities to prevent further spread of the disease to the population at large. The primary goal of therapy is the eradication of viremia, preventing the development of chronic liver disease and thus improving overall quality of life. Currently, medications approved by the Federal Drug Administration for use in pediatrics are only approximately 50% effective for HCV genotype 1. Significant advances are expected with newer agents that are currently under investigation. Thus, at present, it is prudent to consider the treatment of infected children in the context of a clinical trial. Thank you.